Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do a how to play and playthrough of Beer and Bread, which is a two-player game. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play, and it's ages 10 and up. Now this is a score the most points game after six years. And you're going to do this by running your brewery and your bakery. And each player sits on opposite sides, but we can't in this <laughs> setup. So my brewery is over here and my bakery. This is our storage area. We're going to store resources such as wheat, barley. Uh, barley, rye, and hops. Now it's a hand management game with multi-use cards. There are three types of bread, and that matters because you can get upgrades that you'll put below here on your board. And if you, for instance, there's an upgrade where if you have the th baked the three different types of bread, that's those of them, or you brew the three different types of beer. So let's go over the mechanics of the cards real quick, because this is where we're going to start out with five cards, and then we're going to pass them, draft them through each other. So I'll take one, pass my four cards to Julie, she'll pass her four cards, and then I'll take one of hers and we'll go back and forth. So what can you do with these cards? Well, you'll see here you have a top where you can get resources, a bottom, I mean a middle, where you can spend your resources to bake bread or brew a beer. And then the bottom part is an upgrade. So when you play a card, you have to decide, are you going to get the resources at the top, in this case two water, or if you played this one, a water, a barley, or a wheat, etc. The middle part, that's what you're going to spend from your storage. And you are limited to nine storage unless you upgrade your storage here, where you'd slide the cards underneath it. And then on the bottom, you can see, for instance, right here, this says that whenever you collect any water during one of your harvest in store actions collect one additional water. So this will give you two water when you collect one or more. Here this means that you may hold one additional bread card in your bakery. Now why would, it, why would that be important? Because usually you can only brew one beer and that card would go right here. So you spend it and it goes face down like this. And then you could beer, uh, brew, I mean, <laughs> bake a bread and put it right here. Now they're full. You'd have to do an upgrade action to slide these off over here to the side. Then you could, and you don't have, you could upgrade and just move the beer off. Or if you have a bread, upgrade and move the bread off. You don't have to do a beer and a bread before you upgrade. But usually you're allowed to only store one at a time, but you can get an upgrade to store to, to make two before you do an upgrade to remove them. And so you'll see there's other cards here that will give you additional resources. Now this is the end of game scoring here we get coins. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get the most coins. So at game end, if you've sold at least one type of each of beer, gain two extra coins in either beer or bread. So let's go over that real quick. What does that look like at the end of the game scoring here? So here's an example game. You only have as many points as your least category. So Julie had 22 in beer and 26 in bread. Because beer was her lowest category, she has 22 points. Whereas I had 27 in beer and 24 in bread. So this is a very close game. I only won by two points. So what you're going to do is you're going to add up the value of what you beer, uh, brew or bake. So that's four and five, for instance. And then you have your coin cards right here, where you would, at the end of game scoring, you see, for instance, Julie added three to her beer, 19 plus three is 22, because of some car cards she had at the end of the game. And I, and she put that there, but it didn't help her because that was her lowest score. Whereas I, I didn't do as many coins this time, but because I baked more valuable bread then Julie did beer, that's why I was able to win that one. So you have different different years here. You have fruitful years and dry years. And you'll see here on the back of the rule book, you have an overview, a nice little cheat sheet here. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna seed the fields. And then we're gonna get five cards. And then we're gonna do actions. 
either we're going to play a card to get resources or we're going to produce beer or bread or we're going to upgrade and remember when you upgrade you get to remove any beer or bread that you created into your score pile and then we will do the windmill phase whoever has the least amount of resources in their storage area will become the next first player so let's seed right now it says right here we get seven wheat here can i do that right? three six seven mm -hmm. eight barley one more and then six rye and six hops so in fruitful years there'll be more resources we're going to have less than a dry year we're only going to have five wheat four barley four rye and four hops water goes in the river right here we hardly ever run out of water mm -hmm. uh, when you're getting resources you can only get it from these fields so it's possible when you do play a card that there might not be enough here in the field so you just won't get as many now when you do take a produce resources action this is one rule that you can overlook which i did the first time i the, 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 actually many times that we played this game it was pointed out to me that when you lay down successive cards you only get the resources and the previous cards that match the new card now that doesn't make much sense i'm going to show you on camera here but for instance this third card was played here you'll get a water a barley and three you'll get two water a barley and three wheat but you won't get the rye because the new card does not have a rye on it so that's something that we were doing wrong uh, across many games mm -hmm. so this julie played this card to so get a water a barley and a wheat now if the next card she played she only gets she would get two waters and a rye but she wouldn't get those on the previous card because it doesn't the columns do not match now if she were to play a third card like this she would get the hops and two barley because see how it matches that column but it wouldn't get the water no it would not get the water okay. or the rye so that's one thing we were doing wrong okay now another thing to keep in mind is that there is some positive player interaction here when you fill up your storage area and you cannot fit something let's say julie had all this right here okay and she played this card she gets a water a barley and a wheat she only has space for one more so she can exchange them because it's her storage area she says you know what i need more water and this wheat i don't need this much barley so i'm going to get rid of a barley and do this then she hands it to me and i can add it to my storage area if i have space if i don't have space it just goes into the supply i'm not allowed to exchange it when i get it so that's something that you can overlook too on page six which is right here talks about they may not exchange them for any okay. of their already stored tokens so that's one thing that we missed as well okay so we're going to start here soon julie's going to be the first player i think it's the last person who baked i don't remember exactly what it was and well, i just baked cookies last night so i get to go first in fact you can look it up as i as i shuffle sure. here sure okay. uh, so we're gonna get five now. cards now there is a difference when we play a dry year we're going to be switching cards back and forth and the cards that we lay down for resources in the dry year we're going to take back into our hand and we'll get up to five new cards so if julie had these two cards i want to get to the dry year so take them back into her hand and then she'll get three new cards but in the dry year we don't switch cards we will be playing everything out of our hand, but there'll be three cards here that we can exchange. Don't forget the cards right there. Oh yeah, thank you. And it says just to decide on a player. It doesn't matter if they baked or not. Okay, there must be a, you know, we play so many games. I know. There must have been a game that we played recently that uh, said something like that. Yeah, this one just says. You decide who. Choose a starting player and give them the windmill. That's it. So keep in mind, 
that we will go over these upgrades as we get them. Now you might be thinking like, really, you combine the decks? Yes, you combine the decks like this. So here's our five cards. You put the pile over here. Do you want this, honey? Yeah, I'll take that. Now I'm gonna show you my five cards while Julie looks at hers so you can have an idea of what's going on here. And you got, we're gonna each select one. Julie will select hers first, put it face down, then reveal it and pass me her four cards so I get to see what she plays before I select mine. It usually doesn't matter. So you can see here's my resources. And now it's color coded. If you can't tell that's a beer, you can just look at the blue part right up there that those are beer cards and that's those are bread cards. And I can see that this right here, this is a cleanup phase. Whenever you remove only beer cards while cleaning your brewery, collect two wheat. Or bakery. Your bake, yeah, brewery or bakery, collect uh, two wheat. Uh, so that's when you, remember when you clean your bakery or brewery, it's when you play an upgrade card. So end of action here, game end for every two bread cards. You sold gain one extra coin for bread. At the end of the seeding phase, each year collect one barley. And that will come from the fields. So that will come from right here. It would slide underneath here during the seeding phase and I would get one right away into my storage. Here is that usually at the beginning of, of a phase during fruitful years, before the first card swap with other players, turn one of your cards upside down. This inverted card can only be played by you, not the other player. So it allows you to basically to, to save a card for later. This is harvesting here. At the end of your seeding phase of each year, collect one rye. All right, Julie, what are you going to play? I'm going to get extra storage because I seem to always run out of storage. Okay. So Julie is doing an upgrade. If she had any beer or bread here, it would come off her points. And I give David my card sideways so he right. knows. And now I gotta decide what to do. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna produce resources. Now normally it would go over here, but because We wanna show you everything. It would be confusing if Julia and my cards were there. So I get a water. Do I have that one that gets extra water? That's the one I like. I know you do. Okay. So there you go. That's what I produced. I passed my four cards. Now Julie's going to look at my four and look at hers. Let me show you what she had in her hand. So you can get a feel what choices are, what we have here. So this card allows you to get an additional resource when you collect one. This is one that I'll usually do a lot. When you collect any rye during one of your harvest and store actions, collect one additional rye. Let me go back to that because Julie's still figuring out what. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Okay. What I'm going to do? upgrade. Upgrade again. And I'm going to get, at the end of the seeding phase, I collect a uh, rye. You get one rye. Yep. So that's not going to happen into our first dry our, our dry year when it moves to here, okay? So you don't get it this year. But I just wanted to make sure you understand that. Oh, I, I just gave select, you my card. <laughs> I got to select my card. Now I'm looking here. And if I do this one, I'll get two hops and two rye. Here, I'll get two water and a wheat. And I don't remember what I passed to Julie. <laughs> Whenever you collect any rye in one of your harvests and store actions, collect additional rye. You know, I'm going to do that one. Okay. Okay. So this is a, a harvest one. Right there, yep. Yeah. I'll put it right there. So here's my cards. Thank you, baby. Okay, now Julie's going to look at her cards again. Okay, I'm going to collect some resources. I'm going to get a water and a wheat. And a wheat. Okay. Oh, here you go. Hmm. 
Okay, I'll do this one. Okay. Now, I'm only going to get a wheat and a rye. Okay. But when I play a third card, mm -hmm. in fact, I get an additional rye because of my upgrade. Oh. When I play another card, mm -hmm. I know I'm going to match. But the problem is I'm probably going to exceed my storage area. Oh, I see what you're okay. saying. Yeah, yeah. And which means I'll be passing resources to Julie. See, this upgrade here says you're able to collect hops even if there are none left in the field. Because we are limited to the resources here. Okay. I'm going to get resources again. So you get two water because it lines up. And then I get a hops. Uh -huh. I mean, a, a, a barley. barley. Right. Okay, so what am I going to do? Now, I'm going to exceed if I do this. That's okay. Not by much, though. No. I get two barley. Okay. Two rye, and I get an additional rye. And now, I have to decide what to keep here. Okay. And I pass the rest to Julie. Now, Julie must, if she was full, she couldn't take these at all. But because she has space, she, she, has, she just takes them. Okay. I mean, she could turn it down if she really wanted to. No. But why would she? Why would I? Those are points. Exactly. Now, I'm going to get these three cards back in my hand during the dry year. So you have that last card. Now, just show it. Oh, sure. Because it doesn't, it's no <clears throat> secret. You're either going to try to decide what I want You can't do. make anything. No, but I can get some resources. Or you can do the upgrade. At the end of the seeding phase, it would be sure collect. But it doesn't count yet, right, honey? What? At the end of the seeding phase, I already have that anyway. What would be the, the dry year? You'd get two rye, but do you need that? No, I'm gonna do this. Okay. So, so help me again. It lines up. You get a hops. Okay. At the hop, and you get two barley. And that's it. It's good that you have that extra storage. Yep. Okay, so here's my last card. What are you gonna? I'm do? not gonna do that because then it's <laughs> gonna. It basically would go all into the yeah. supply. Because Julie couldn't take it, and no. I mean, I could exchange it if I really want to exchange. Or I can do the upgrade. At the end of the seeding phase of each year, collect one barley. barley. Right. All right, so that's the end of the fruitful, fruitful phase. We didn't build it up. Nope. Bake anything or brew anything. Now we look here. Oh, first we got to look at who gets the the first player marker. You do. Right, because you have 10 mm -hmm. and I have nine. So I will be first player. Now, we get back our three cards. Those are mine. Oh, actually, we don't get our, we don't do cards yet. We first nope. do seating. So. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is perfect. Okay. This needs two more. Two more. Three more. Three more. And that one's perfect. Now we do the seating phase. I'm gonna get one of these and one of these. I thought it was at the end of the seating. Oh, yeah, we're doing right. the end of the seating. We are not doing, you know, again, I'll show it because just for, for reference here. So we just seeded the fields. So because it's the end of the seeding phase, that's why we got those extra resources, and it comes from the field. Now we do the card phase. So we take back the cards that we used to get resources. So I have three, and Julie oh, has do three. Do I do this too? Yes, you get that, too. Okay. Right, right here. The reason why we're looking at our cards first is because we have too many resources. And I'm going to have to decide, what am I going to discard in order to possibly fulfill these? Because we know what we have before we draw new cards. Because we have to decide this first. Okay, I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to trade that out. Okay. And... It doesn't, it doesn't matter what she gives me. She's not going to give, well, I'm not going to be able to keep it because I'm I'm at max. So she might as well just discard it to the supply right now. I'm going to have to decide. I have three. Barley. I can do this card. I know that. I actually, I actually don't even need these. 
Because okay. I have everything I need. Good. I'm lacking water. That's what I'm lacking. Yeah. So all I did was deplete the field, unfortunately. All right, so now I'm going to get cards up to five. Here is the card face. And then we reveal three cards here that we can exchange. So let's take a look at what we can exchange here. And when you do an exchange, the card, when you exchange one of, the, one of those cards, you basically use it right away. It doesn't go into your hand and you get to keep it. You're basically exchanging it and playing it. So you have, see here you may hold more one additional beer card in your brewery. Whenever you remove any beer cards from your brewery, you get a water. Whenever you remove only bread, you get two barley. Well, those are nice cards, but we haven't baked or brewed anything yet. No. And then here's our five cards. And now we're not we're not doing any drafting. Most we can do is Julie can exchange one of her cards for one of these, but I'm first, so I have to go. Okay. Now my, here's my new cards. See, I don't have enough water. So I can't do this one because I need two wheat. Only one I can do is this one here. So I'm going to bake this bread. Okay. Need water. And three barley. So this is five points. And it goes face on. Now, I can look at them anytime I want. Julie would have to remember that I, I'm going to get at least five gold in my bread. I'm not going to remember. Yeah. Okay. I'm also going to bake... I have three, and one, and a water. Okay? Okay. Let's look at what I could possibly do. Am I going to do additional bread? I can get additional storage. I'm going to play this. Ah, oh, jeez. If I upgrade first... Whenever you remove only bread cards while cleaning your... I get two. I will exchange this. And I'll do the upgrade. Because I'm thinking ahead here. Whenever you remove only bread cards, I would get two barley. So this is a clean phase upgrade. Okay. Okay. You done? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get resources, so I'm going to get a water and a wheat. Okay. <clears throat> I need to get water. Or do I do this instead and get additional storage? No, I'm going to get water first. So I get a water, barley, and a wheat. All right, I am done. Okay. By the way, at the end of the dry phase, these cards are discarded. Getting hops. Okay. Now I'm going to... <clears throat> I can actually do this card, but then I won't get to storage. Oh no, I can't because it's a bread. And then if I, okay, I will do this. I'm going to upgrade my storage. That means that I clean my bakery and my brewery because I did an upgrade. That means now this will be five points. Just so you know, the very last phase of the game, you don't have to upgrade to remove it. You'll automatically, they will slide off and count as points. But you have to do this during the game to free up space. I put this here. That's points for me. And because I cleaned up, I get two barley. And I have... Oh, ooh, I'm taking it from here. That would have been wrong. Yeah, it would be. Uh, uh, it's supposed to come from the field. So now there's no barley there. That's okay, because I'm going to brew some beer. Three water, two barley, wheat, and a hops. And that's a nine-point card. Yep. Now this will show for... Right now, I have zero points because I have no beer yet. Julie, though, has six points 
because beer is her lowest score. I mean, so, bread is. Yeah, bread. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Her bread is her lowest score. Even though her beer is nine, at least she has one of each. I don't have a beer yet, so my score is zero. Now, what am I going to do with this last card? Can I bake anything or brew anything? Here, I don't have enough water. Uh, I can do this one, which I will do. Might as well just do a bread. So I'm ex exchanging it. Two wheat, three barley, and a... Uh, nice, honey. Well, it, it really doesn't matter right now because I gotta get a beer going here. Yeah. But that's okay. Eventually I will. I'm gonna switch out a card too, sweetie. Did I give you something that you want to use? Yeah, whenever I remove a beer card from my brewery, I'm going to upgrade. Okay, so you exchanged it. And I put the broom right there. Okay, so what does it say again? Whenever, whenever you remove any beer cards from your brewery while cleaning it, collect one water. So you're going to get one water right now? Yep. Because Julie upgraded, she gets to move those cards off to the side to score. And you can look at your score pile at any time. Oh, here are my... Oh. You didn't even know you had those there. Okay, your hands are shaking this morning. I know. From your medicine. Good old medicine. <laughs> All right, so the, the, the dry phase is done. We take the cards that uh, are resource cards mm -hmm. and the exchange cards. We just put it off in a discard pile right here. So now we go to the fruitful. Uh, well, first we check first player. Me. So windmill phase. Julie has l less, so she will be first player. Move the marker here. We do the seeding phase. Oh, there's, we need four more here. Yep. And we need eight and the barley. Need five in the rye. One more. And three more in the hops. At the hop? That's right. Okay. Three, four, now we each get five cards. Six, oh wait, go. we have to do our. Oh yeah. At the end of the seeding phase, each you collect one. Match it. Whenever you. We can pick them up, honey. I get an additional one. Whenever you collect any rye during one of your harvests in store, I just collect an additional one. Okay. But you're seeding, you get yes. the barley. Yes. Okay, so I get one. Okay. It's something. Yeah, exactly. All right, now we do the cards. Four, four, five, five. Oh, wow. Tons of you bread. You got tons of bread. So that means, Holy look, we only got one beer this, this turn. Wow. Uh, You're probably going to take it, which you I, should. But here's the problem. I probably won't be able to do it. Oh. Uh, because I don't have any water. Yeah. But you're first. I am first. Now, this is a nice card to get here. I haven't shown you these yet on the camera. Basically, it makes your four and five cards plus one coin. So that's a nice one. Okay, I'm what gonna get gonna a do? resource. So you're doing resources. Get a water and a hops. Okay. And I'll give you those. And I wait. <laughs> well, I'm gonna need wheat and water. So I have none of that. Mm. I'm good. glad you got a water. I didn't want to take water from you if you wanted it. There's plenty of water in the river. Yeah. Mm. I don't have one of those. I need to get one of those. Okay. All right. This is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to get resource. Resources again. Mm-hmm. And I get... And a wheat. Okay, so pass me your cards. Mm -hmm. 
At least I know that that the bear beer card's too. available, mm -hmm. but there are no water here. No, we both took the waters. <clears throat> I guess I'll just take the wheat and get three wheat. Okay. I have space for it. Yeah, might as well. Okay. See, I need the water, and we're, we're low on water. Bummer. You know, in terms of cards. Right, right. The cards are really odd this time. I agree. You know, this is like our seventh time playing, and I haven't seen a situation like this yet. But it makes it interesting, that's for sure. It really does. Okay, I'm going to upgrade. Whenever I remove any bread cards, I get to collect the water. So that's a, a cleanup action. What you gonna do, Sugar Bear? Well, I should upgrade. I'll make my fours and fives plus one. Nice. For end of game scoring. That's a good one, honey. And then now, but well, here's the problem. I'm gonna be pushing this off. Mm-hmm. And I'll get two rye. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna have but I'll be get I'll be sharing with you. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, so I'm getting two rye. Okay. No, barley. barley. Two barley. Okay. And you have the space for it. Now you can brew that beer. I am. Which I can't. Okay. Thanks to... Okay. Okay. I'll let you take those off because I'm afraid I'm going to make a mess. Well, your hands are shaky right now. Yeah. Can you pass me the card? Oh, yes. I'm sorry, sweetie. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll just do this one. Well, it's a five. Well, let me see here. What breads have I baked already in case I go for that upgrade? Okay. I want to do... See, I have two of the three. If I do this one, which I, I can, I will have three of a kind. Nice. Which I want to do that upgrade. If the card comes back around again, it may not. But you get oh, to... Oh, I can't. You can't? Oh, darn. I got rid of a, a rye by accident. Oh, shoot. I guess I'm doing this one. I can't do that either. Oh. I really screwed myself. You're always able to collect, okay, so I guess this one here, whenever you collect any hops during the end of your harvest and store, collect one additional hop. So I guess I'm just going to do this. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. It's the way it goes, sweetie. And I have nothing to slide off in my upgrade. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I can't even make this bread. Well, I can do something. So I'm going to upgrade... And then I'm going to take my beer off. All right, so you get an additional wheat. Uh, you are always able to collect wheat even if there's none in the field. Yep. So I should take it from the supply. All right, I can't do this bread, but it's too bad I can't do the one that would have given me the three of the kind oh, if I had the upgrade. Man. Yeah. That's the way it goes. Yeah. But you can make that one, yes? Yes. Good. Because I do need to make something because I, I have too much stuff. Right. Okay. Nice. I'm still first player, though, because uh, I only have five pieces. I have five. Oh. You have five. Yeah. When there's a tie, it goes to the player. That's right. That didn't have it yet. So we go to the dry year. Nice. We have to do our harvest. We do our seeding first. Yeah, seeding. Yeah. So three here. Yep. Uh, that one's perfect. This one has too much. That one has too much, too. Okay, and we put the water back. So we know we have these two cards. Yep. In this case, what we're getting here, we're not going to exceed our storage. So I do get one barley. Where I do you get, get uh, 
one rye. Rye. All right, now we get our extra cards. I think mm -hmm. we're going to be getting a lot of beer. Uh, looks like it. Oh, you got yeah. more beer than I did. Yes. That's good for you. Now here are the cards that we can exchange. Oh, there's a beer one. Woohoo! It's a couple beer. Yeah. Which I need to get a beer. Right now I have zero points. You can't have a beer right now. It's too early in the morning. Ha ha. <laughs> 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 okay, so there's some upgrades here. Let me show them on camera. Sure, honey. On the exchange. So whenever you collect water, that would have been nice to have early on. Yeah. Conditional water. Whenever you remove any bread from your bakery, you collect the water. That's nice. And you can collect additional hops. Okay, we're gonna do. Oh wait, oh. I forgot to get a, a, wa a water because I removed a beer while cleaning. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I'm first. Yep. I'm going to do, whenever you collect any water during one of your harvests and store collect additional water, I'm going to do that one. I'm going to exchange it. I'm going to exchange it for this one because I don't think okay. I'm going to get four water. All right. And I'm going to upgrade. Okay. Because I upgrade, I remove this. Yep. Wow, look at all the bread I have. Mm -hmm. So I would have 17 points, actually. With this upgrade at the end, it would be 18 points, but it's actually zero because I have no beer. But because I cleared it, I get two, almost took it from the wrong spot. Uh, I get two barley. Okay, my turn. I'm going to bake some bread. I'm gonna take my water and three of these guys. And I have baked my bread. Okay. Okay, your turn. I'm looking at what I have here. I need more wheat. So I'm getting a water, but I actually get two waters. And I get a wheat. However, I have too much now. So I'm going to have to... I don't need that much barley. So I give one to Julie. Thank you. I have room. So I have an overflow. Okay, I'm going to get resources. You get a water mm -hmm. and a barley. Yep. Now um, I can get a beer. It just sounds so funny when you say it. It's just so cute. It's both are sevens. I can't do this one because I don't have enough water. I'm not doing too good on water this game. Usually you're the water king. Okay. Okay. There we go. Nice. Now I actually have points. Yay! <laughs> Your turn. Okay, I'm gonna get two waters. And then I don't get the hops, but I get... Right. Right? Yeah, you only get the ones that match okay. in the column. Okay, just wanna make sure I'm doing it right. Right, because we did that wrong so many games, that's why we're making sure. Yeah. Now I have this stuff. If I can get additional water, I can actually bake another bread. Nice. But I'd rather get another beer. But I'm not going to build a... Because I, I, I only have two more actions. Oh, but I'll get a third water. Okay, so I have to do this one. Okay. Two water. Actually, three for me. Because of the upgrade. And a hops. Okay. I am going to, I'm going to do this where I get at the end game for every two bread cards that I are sold, I gain one extra bread for coin. Wait, I get one extra coin for bread. <laughs> right. So every pair of bread you have, you get an extra coin. Yeah. And then I get to move this off because I upgraded. Right. And then when you move off uh, a bread, do you have anything when you have clear? Uh, whenever I move bread, I get a water. So there you go. There we go. All right, so my last card, because I was the first player. Mm -hmm. I can do this one or this one. This is nine. I, they're both nine. And I have everything I need for either one of them. 
Now this is where I can see what does Julie need. She doesn't have enough. It doesn't matter which one I do here. She doesn't have enough barley. Mm -mm. So this is where you have some player interaction here is that I could go for the beer that she can't. Yeah. She wouldn't be able to leave behind the beer that she can't do. But in this case, she can't do either one of them. Mm -mm. So I will exchange it with, it really doesn't matter. They're the same, except one's a wheat and one's a bar. Okay, I can't do this one because that's a wheat. Oh, crap. What's wrong, huh? I already have it full. Oh, darn it. So I can't do it. See what happened here? Yeah. So I guess I'm upgrading. I don't have, I can't store two beers. Yeah. Well, that sucks. <laughs> what, was, what does this one do? Whenever you remove any bread cards from your bakery, collect a water. Oh, gee, am I gonna get more bread? I don't know, you're the bread king right now. I know, but I don't need more. I need more beer. When you're not gonna get those beer cards, they're gonna go away. I know, it sucks. Yeah. When you remove any bread cards from your bakery while cleaning it, collect one. Hell, I'll just do that anyway. Okay. It's a cleanup card. I upgrade. Because was that better? And then I, I will get two rot. No, this is two rise for bread, I think. Probably. Whenever you remove only bread. Okay. Well, let me say. Uh, but this card does come into effect right away when you play it. Whenever you remove any bread cards from the bakery. So, yeah, I I get lots of stuff when I remove bread, but I need to do beer. Okay, I'm done. That's all I can do. Well, I'm torn. I think... Because if I do this, I'm not gonna, I don't have enough room, so I'm going to have to move out. Well, you know, that would be nice if you could show oh, it yeah. on camera. Sorry. If I did this, I get two things, but I have no room, which means I have to move stuff out well, for you. Well, you get, I will, yes, I will get the two things that you move out. I know, but I don't know what I want to move out. Then do an upgrade. So I'm just going to upgrade. So what is that upgrade? You get additional wheat? Uh, yeah. Getting your seating phase. So, yeah. so you're going to be getting a rye Is it going to go in the, no, not a, yeah, it's going to go on the. I got to put it here because we're in okay. our space. <clears throat> I have no room, so it's just going to go back in the... Right. Which okay, stinks. Okay, so we're done. Yeah, that was a bad one. You have more, so I'm first player again. Yep. And then we move this, and so we fill this So second to last up. turn. One, two, three, four. We need three more wheat, Here's seven more barley. Four rye. And four more hops. Okay. Five cards each. Yep. Okay. At least we have a good combination oh, here. Get some beer. A lot of beer, which a lot I of beer. Need. There's a beer in the fridge. Yes, that's from the movie Heavy Metal. There's a beer in the fridge. <sighs> okay, I can look at my end of, end of turn stuff here at the end. Game end. If you only have a if you have at least two more resource tokens in your storage units than other player, you get two extra coins to put on beer or bread. That's a good one. But I need to, to brew a beer here. And a beer that's worth as many points as possible. But this bread's good too because I can get three of a kind if I'm trying to go for that. Well, oh, we forgot to do our seat, or forgot to get our oh yeah but don't don't look at your cards i don't even remember what it was because i don't remember i get a rye okay a barley sorry i have space for it so mm -hmm. it doesn't affect me you though on the other hand i know you didn't remember what you saw you get a wheat and a rye and then i can't use them because i'm all full so you have to pass them to me i will take see this is why you got to do this before you look at your cards. I, was I don't remember to, what I saw. I don't remember either. But I'm thinking, I don't have any wheat, so I better take that wheat. But I could have a beer card that needs three three rye, but oh well. That's the way it goes. Yeah, I don't remember what I saw. Okay, now we get our cards. Okay. And I made the right choice. Oh, good, honey. I'm glad. I am glad. 
Well, I have no choice. I have to do this one. Okay, I'm going to keep this card. Oh, wait, it's your turn. Yeah, first. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm doing a beer. Okay. Because my beer is so low in points. It's a good one. Seven. See, that wheat. That was, helped you. That was the key. Yep. Nice. Okay, now I pass the cards. Okay. I'm going to do... I'm also going to brew a beer. Two waters. Hops. And a barley. Here, remember, first. you can look at your points at any time. I know. Okay. So I get additional hop, rye, or water. I'm looking at my upgrades here. And when I clear your bread, I get additional stuff. But right now, I need water. I'm low on water again. Hmm. Turn the club. Okay, I'm doing an upgrade. I get a water, which makes it two because of my upgrade, and I get a wheat. Nice. I am done. Okay, I'm going to get a water. Okay, so you're, you're doing a resource. Mm hmm Barley and a wheat. Okay. I need more mm, water. It didn't help me duck on it. I need more wheat. Poo, 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 poo. I'm gonna have to do that. I it. I know what's coming up. I need more beer. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna do this one. I get two wheat because they line up and a barley. It's good I have the extra storage. I'm gonna get extra storage. Okay. Now you clear off your beer. Yep. You, get any, you get anything for cleaning yep, up your I beer? Yep, I get a water. Anything else? Nope, just a water. Okay, what's the... That's for bread, and that's for beer. Okay. And whenever I move any beer cards when cleaning it, I get a water. Okay, so it's hard to see because of the camera. Uh, I'll move it up just a little bit here. Uh, you can have duplicate cards. You're allowed to do that. So that's why I ask, is, are they both for, for beer? No, one's for beer, one's for... Is this mine? Yes. Darn it, I just need more now, did of those I do, things. I did, okay, I didn't do an upgrade. Shoot. Whenever you move any beer cards from the brewery, you get a water. Whenever you collect any... I'm going to do, whenever you remove any beer. So I'm going to do this, but then I'll get a water. Then I'll have to remove something. Gosh darn it. I know, that's how I am too. It's not, this is not ideal. No. Remove any beer cards from the brewery while I clean and collect the water. Well, I guess I will do it. So it takes effect immediately. I get a water. And then whenever, this is, but whenever you collect water during your harvest and store actions, so that doesn't apply here. So I get a water. I was about ready to take it from you. <laughs> Could be a, this could be bad. I'll take it from the rye. And you get it. Because you have space. Well, that doesn't kill me. But I'm going to do this upgrade. Okay. At the at game end, if you have at least two more resource tokens in your storage units, then the other player has in theirs gain two extra coins for either beer or bread. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, here's my last card. It's a beer. And I'll do it just to clear out stuff. Although the upgrade's nice because I have these cards here. Mm. Just missing. A uh, game man for every two beer. You know what? I'm just gonna get the points because I have the. This make does this make my fours and fives plus one? Yes. So two wa water and two barley. Nice. I'm going to have to upgrade because I don't have room for anything and I can't brew anything. I don't have enough uh, right. barley. And if you were to do this, it, you'd be, 
it wouldn't you'd make be any get, sense. You'd, you'd yeah. be getting a lot of wheat and giving it to me. Yeah, which I could do. Okay, so now you get... But I don't want you're to. You're always able to collect. So you're the wheat master. I'm the wheat master. You can always get wheat when it's out in the field. You get additional wheat when you when you uh, harvest it. And at the end of the seeding phase, you get a wheat. Good thing I like beer and bread. All right, so the end of it, I'm first player again. Yep. Because you have more resources. So here's my two cards. They go away. Oh, no, we keep no, them. No, we're, right. we're doing the last phase. Oh, that's right. That's your card. And I have one card. That's okay, though. More options for me, hopefully. Okay, five wheat. Three, five, uh, four. Mm. Four. Not getting many hops this game. No. Okay. I get five cards. You get four cards. Or four cards. I get three. Two, two, three, three, four. Thank you. And then we now have to discard pile. If you run out of cards, you just shuffle the discard pile. Okay. So here's exchange cards that's important to look at because this is the last round of the game. Yeah, oh, before we look at our cards, we were supposed to get these. Okay. Uh, you get a, a wheat. Mm -hmm. Well, we go in order by player. So you go first. I get a, a barley. Mm -hmm. You get a wheat. And a rye. You can't use it, but you can exchange it, and then you're going to pass me what you don't use. Shoot. I think I will... Okay. And this one, I pass to you, You don't right? even want it. I can't use it. You don't want to exchange it. You don't no. want it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have space. Well, thank you, sweetie. Does that oh, help well, me? That one's upside down. Okay. This is where you can store two waters. That's a, an, an interesting card. This makes your eights and nines plus one, honey. You may want that card. Yeah. Look at your t cards. See if that's something you want. Yeah. But I'm first player. I'm looking at the end of the year stuff. So let me take a look at my score here. I have 17 points. This would be actually 18 because of plus one for my upgrade. That's 14 plus this, plus this would be 14, 18, 19 for, because that will be plus one. So my lowest score right now is 18. You need help figuring out yours? You wanna know what you got? Yeah, please. That way, so you, you don't, you can use another bread. I can see that right now. Yeah. Your beer is way up. You got 20 points in beer. Okay. You only have 11 points in bread. Okay. I need so to you got to get you got to get that. Okay. That sounds good. But I'm first. And for me, I want to bake a bread. This five pointer is not bad. And it doesn't use all my water. For every two beer, huh? That upgrade's nice, though. Okay, I'm going to do this bread. Three wheat and a water. All right, I'm done. Okay, I'm going to brew this beer. You sure you don't want to get that upgrade? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Okay. So Another beer? I do that. You need bread. I know, but just trust me. Okay. So. Okay. Now I'm going to upgrade. Okay. At the end of game end, for every two beer cards that you so sold, gain one additional coin. Now because I am clearing this area, now this is only, got to read these cards carefully. Um, Whenever you remove only bread, okay, so this card doesn't apply. Whenever you remove any bread cards from your bakery, I get a water. Whenever you remove any beer cards from your brewery, you gain a water. Did you remove them? I'm about to right oh, now. Okay. The point is I had I had to read the cards sure. because I know one of them was an only. Ah, oh, gotcha. So that upgrade's not as good when it's an only. Okay, I'm getting resources. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm looking at what I have here. And you could be showing your cards on camera too, you know, uh, so people can see. I do have a, a hops there. 
I need wheat. It'd be good to get a... Okay, so I'm going to play this one. I get a, a wheat and a barley. I would get additional barley if there was some in the field, but there isn't. I'm done. Okay, I'm going to bake this bread. Three of these. Wow. A lot. Of, see, I told you I knew what I was doing. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah. Okay, my turn. I can exchange things here. I only have one wheat. Do I have any eights and nines? Do I want that upgrade? See, that eight and nine card doesn't help me at all. I have none of them. So that doesn't matter. Now, if I look at my points again, is there anything that gives me plus one gold? Plus one coin for pairs? No. And nothing here. So I'm just doing straight up points. 9, 12, 17, 21, 22, 23, because I get plus one. That's 18, 19. I need to do another beer. And it can be a small beer. Yeah, I only have one wheat. Okay, I'll do this small beer. Hops. And a wheat. Okay, I am done. Okay, I'm going to exchange for that nine. What was that one that said nine? Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah. so you exchange it and then you're adding it. Mm -hmm. And you clear your beer and bread. Do you get anything when you clear your Water. beer and bread? Two waters. What does it say exactly? Whenever you remove any beer cards from your brewery while cleaning it, gain a water. Whenever you remove any bread cards from your bakery while cleaning it, gain a water. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it didn't say an only thing. So, can I do anything with the stuff that I have left? I'm just going to do an upgrade. Oh, you put down a card I can use. Oh, good. I'm glad. If you sold at least one card of each of the three types of bread, I don't think I did. That's why I got rid of it. <laughs> I was about to get another bread. Yeah, I see. But remember, I didn't have... I was close. So that card doesn't help me. I only have two types of bread. Well, I guess I'll just do one additional storage unit. Okay, I'm going to do and that. Hang on, I need to clear this. And I get... My clear, clear beer, what do I get? Even though it's my last card, I get a water. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna do this because I get points for having more things than you. More stores or more resources? If at the game, if I at least here, let me show it. Okay. Because you can't see it in the corner there. Yeah. So what card are you looking at here? Um, let's see. No. Two pairs of bread. That one. If you have at least two more resource tokens. Okay, yes, so that is definitely worth doing. So I'm going to do a water. And I get three. Yeah. Oh, but there's none there. Shoot. Maybe you get a wheat. Darn it, Jim. So now we're tied. Yeah, that doesn't work. Unless you can do an exchange here. Mm. Hang on. Where well, you got a water and a... Let's put those back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If you do an exchange... You get a hop and a wheat. So it's only help. two. Yeah, they're all two. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Duck but on. wait, wait, wait. You what, get, what? You do want to exchange. Watch. Okay, I'm watching. Because you get an additional... Oh, it's wheat that you get additional. You do this one. I'm getting real confused. <laughs> so you get a water. Okay. You get a wheat. Yeah. And you get an additional wheat. Oh. So now you did. But I have to have at least two more. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, bummer. That's okay. I tried. Yeah, you did try. Yeah. I at least got you one more. Yeah, I appreciate that, okay. honey. Thank you. All right, so now we're done We're done with the game here. We removed the cards. 
And David's going to do my scoring for me because I here, don't have my calculator. <laughs> here's your coin cards. We do that afterwards. Yeah. Do you want me to put my stuff together, my beer gotcha. and my bread? Okay. So I want to focus here. Here's okay. you, me. Okay, yeah, go ahead and put them together now. Okay. I'm going to do mine first and you tell me yours. We don't add in our gold stuff yet. We put that in the next column. So I have 14, 18, 23 beer just on its own. Okay, and you want to keep those off to the side. And then here I have 1721 bread. And now I'm going to do my end of, end of game scoring. I get one coin for every two beer. I have two beer. So I, I do hash marks. Okay. So two beer, boop, boop, like that. And then this one here, for uh, I get plus one for every four and five. So two more for a beer. Doesn't really help me there. Here I get two more. So now I get plus four here for, for beer. That makes me 27. I got two more for bread. That gives me 23. So my highest score is a 23. I'm done with that. I'm done with this guy. Okay, so how, how much did you have here for... I think that was 24, but it could be wrong. Yes, you're correct. My fingers didn't fail me. <laughs> 20... 24. I, I'm, I'm counting again just to make sure. No, I please do. Up. And then here's your bread. That's 20. 20. 20 for bread. Mm -hmm. Oops. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah. Now you have your coins. Yep. Let's do your eight and nine first. Oh, already? Okay. So I have two nines. So your beer gets plus one. And my bread gets plus one. Okay, so we've done that card. Mm -hmm. At the game end, you get plus one for every two bread. You I have, have three, three breads, bread. you get plus one. All right. And that one I didn't have enough. That one you didn't complete. That's too bad, because you yeah. might have won. Because you could have assigned it anywhere. Yeah. Do you realize if you would have been able to have gotten one more resource, you could have assigned it to either beer or bread. So Julie could have put it right here. It would have gotten 24 to plus 4. So you were one resource away from beating me. That was close. Wow. Good, good job. Me. That was fun. So you can see if Julie would have just got one more resource, she would have been able to add in those two points and got a 24 for her that's okay. Right. I had fun. Well, there you go. That's to how to play and play through. Please check out our review when you get a chance. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends, and we'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.